What's up everybody? This is Alex Yu with the Rage and Rona Review, Transformers 3 Edition. I want to do a little recap for what has happened in 2010 on everything that we know for Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon. Let's start with the plot. We know that it has something to do with the space race. Obviously the two astronauts they went to the dark side of the moon and discovered the Ark and they saw non-function and robots there. Okay, that's all we know so far. Next plot detail. We also know that the government or the people of Earth do not want the Autobots to be there because they don't feel safe with them being there. They're aliens and they need to get back to where they came from. So they want them to stay away from Earth. Next plot detail. Shockwave is planning a big assault on Earth, bringing some Decepticons with them. And another thing is that they're also looking for Drumbo. Another power source somewhere on Earth. First one, it was the glasses and the AllSpark. Second one, it was the fragment shard and uh, all these uh, different things. Next plot detail. The government enlists the help of Dylan, who is a tech whiz. He loves race cars. And so he creates something called the Wreckers, which is these weaponized uh, vehicles. Next little plot detail we know is also that Autobots don't go home, obviously, because the government needs them because they see a Decepticon threat. Another little plot detail is that Don Chichiro becomes a multimillionaire from uh, selling his books about um, the whole, all of the events of the first and second movie, and, you know, talking about conspiracies. Sam needs to go to him for for help and obviously Agent Simmons has tons of information to give him which in the end helps the Autobots fight the Decepticons. It's always kind of funny how Agent Simmons always has the answer to everything for all three movies. And finally the big battle takes place in Chicago and it's gonna be like Black Hawk Down where the soldiers are totally outgunned, out Decepticon, out roboted, just totally outnumbered and they're calling the last few guys for help. They can't get a whole lot of uh, human soldiers to help them out. So then comes the Autobots. Next little plot detail. Dylan is in fact a bad guy. Well, not entirely. Maybe he's he was just helping the Decepticons. But it's possible that he could maybe be a pretender all along. And that will be the end of the trilogy. I know that was very spoilerific. That's what this episode's about. Now let's talk about what we know about characters. Obviously, the main players are back. Let's start off with the Autobots. Optimus Prime with his trailer, Bumblebee, Sideswipe converted into a convertible, Ratchet with a uh, green and gray repaint, and Ironhide. These are the, the five main guys that are back from the previous movie. We also got Skids and Mudflap, the twins. However, they are no longer Chevy Beat and Chevy Tracks. They are both Chevy Sparks with a new repaint. Also, a new addition is Wheeljack, who is the uh, purple Mercedes-Benz E550. They didn't actually confirm his name, but I'm pretty sure, based on all the information that I've seen and all the photos, it is Wheeljack. Wheelie is also back, the little radio-controlled monster truck. So Wheelie is back, there to provide some comic relief. And we got a uh, mysterious red... Ferrari. Nobody's confirmed who he could be. A lot of people saying Hot Rod, Sunstreaker, Cliff Jumper. Nobody's mentioned this one. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. A source tells me it could be. Ah, uh, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say it. I, I, I don't want to get in trouble. They told me not to say it, but uh, I'll give you a little hint. Okay. What kind of hint can I get? Um. Okay. It's just a hint. Shoulder rocket launcher. That's all I'm gonna say. I can't say anymore. It could be any one of like five Autobots, I think. And of course, a fire truck who could be a number of, uh, of characters. It could be Sentinel Prime or Rodimus Prime. All we know is that it's the father of Optimus Prime. And of course, we also have the three Wreckers. They're gonna be three separate characters, of course. The three Wreckers, one of them who is gonna be voiced by Bill Fagerback Bake. Uh. Excuse me. I think there's also going to be an Autobot jet because James Avery is voicing Silverbolt, who is an aerial bot. So it's highly possible that there's going to be a new Autobot jet. And I'm really hoping that uh, Starscream and Silverbolt do some battle in the air. Now there's a mystery car up there, and that's the silver Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. A lot of people are saying that it is not actually a Transformer, but it is such a high-profile car that it's hard to say or hard to assume that it's not a Transformer, or an Autobot, rather. I don't know what to believe. Let's talk about Decepticons. Obviously, the main guys are back. 
Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave. We don't know what Soundwave is going to be. It's possible that he could be taking on his original form, but when he gets to Earth, he sh probably should reformat. It's highly possible he could be that armored truck. Shockwave is going to be the main villain. Nobody knows how big he's going to be, but there is a giant foot going around stomping on things. It is highly possible that the foot could represent Shockwave or that could represent something entirely bigger, something different that we haven't seen yet. Megatron is going to be a Mad Max style fueling truck. And finally, there's going to be the Decepticon Dreads, which are three black Chevy SUVs. And the Dreads are like drones. And it's very similar to the uh, sweeps. You remember the sweeps? There's like multiples of them. So I guess this would be the, the movie universe's version of the sweeps, which is now called the dreads. And that's all I have for this episode. I just wanted to tell you about plot details and all the characters that we know so far. This is a little bit of a 2010 recap of all the events that or everything that we know about Transformers 3. Stay tuned for the next one. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. It's probably going to be a movie review. But I know Super Bowl is just around the corner, so be prepared because Michael Bay is going to have something huge as he always does every Super Bowl. He has something big planned for us for Transformers, so I'm expecting something pretty explosive. This is Alex Yu and you've been watching the Rage and Ronin Review. Peace!